Okay, here we are at Cantera Cellars. We're going to go through the yeast startup procedure. We start with our recipe. In this case, we're working on Merlot. We have three different yeasts that we're using today. And then we're adding GoFirm to start up the yeast. We start with a 10 to 1 ratio between the yeast and all yeast and yeast nutrients and water. So this is a startup of one bin of 110 grams of yeast and 150 grams of go firm for about 260 grams of dry. So we have about two and, uh, two and a half liters of liquid. Liquid's been warmed to 104, 105 degrees. We won't wait for the thermometer to come up. We've already checked it. Uh, you want it, the temperature between 104 and 105. That leaves some uh, temperature to drop when we add the dry liquid. Uh, but we're looking for the water temperature for the yeast at startup to be approximately 104 degrees Fahrenheit. We have our whisk for whisking in the dries into the liquid. We've got a gram scale for measuring out our dry components. We have a uh, 150 grams of GoFirm, 110 grams of yeast, and in this case we're using GRE yeast. Now we got Nancy who's going to actually do the assembly here. So what are we doing, Nancy? We are adding in the uh, GoFirm, 150 okay. grams that we have, and mix it in the whisk at the same time. We want to whip this a little bit, get some oxygen introduced into the liquid. We're going to gently just push the yeast into the liquid. We're not going to actually whip it up at this point. These are dehydrated yeast, and we're just trying to give them a nice, gentle, stark wake up in the nice, warm water with nutrients. All right. So that's step one of yeast startup. Thank you, Nancy, and we'll come back and do a little nutrition to this later. So step one of yeast startup is we have our container of water that we've, uh, this is chlorine free water that we uh, have on tap here. Add it to our microwave and start her up. And it's always, always better to actually overshoot on the temperature because you can take it out, add cold water, drop the temperature down into the 104, 105 degree range and then pour back to the total volume that you want. Okay, we have our gram scale. We're going to be measuring out some uh, dry components here. So, Nancy, what are you measuring out here? We're we going to measure out for this batch. We need uh, 150 grams of go farm. So we're just going to start off at zero. And how exact are these measurements usually on dry goods? Um, not that exact. You can be a uh, five, give or take five grams or so. Almost. And there it is. All right. Thank you, Nancy. Now we're opening a package of yeast that's been opened previously, and you'll see that it's 
then closed up with a piece of tape. The importance of that at the conclusion of uh, working with your yeast mainly is to keep the yeast from uh, falling out. It's a very granular form, kind of like salt. So we want to make sure the package is sealed nice, squeeze out most of the residual air, and then we put that in the refrigerator until our next use.